Hi, my name is Dusty. I live in Sunny Valley with lots of other animals. But sometimes I still feel alone because I don't have a mom or a dad. And sometimes I get sad. See, I have a bad leg. I can't run and jump around like the other lambs. I was born with one leg, it just doesn't work right. I'm crippled. And I'm with Hi, my name is Justin. I live in Sunny Valley with lots of other animals. But sometimes I still feel alone because I don't have a mom or a dad. And sometimes I get sad. <coughs> See, I have a bad leg. I can't run and jump around like the other lambs. I was born with one leg that just doesn't work right. I'm crippled and I limp when I walk. So I have to just watch the other lambs play. And that makes me feel sad and alone. The one thing that always helps me feel better is when I get to meet my best friend, Abigail. Hi, Joshua. Why are you looking sad? Hi, Abigail. You know, I was watching the other lambs play again, and then I got sad. The best thing to do is to get your mind off of it. God loves you, and you're special. Let's go play. Abigail was Joshua's best friend. She didn't look like a friend for a lamb. She was an old cow, but she was so much fun and her voice was always kind and friendly. Some of Joshua's favorite hours were spent with Abigail. That was fun. Hey, let's pretend we're on an adventure in a distant land. Yeah, and we can pretend we'll get the stars to find our way. Tell me a story about the stars, Abigail. I love your stories. Once upon a time, there was a man who lived on the moon. One day, while he was out walking, he noticed all the holes in the ground. So he looked closer and saw the moon was made out of cheese. Swiss cheese. How cool! He could eat the moon dirt because cheese was his favorite food. Each night, you can see more of the moon eaten away. That was a funny story. Joshua and Abigail spent hours on the hill looking into the valley. They were good friends. But even with friends like Abigail, Joshua still got sad. It made him sad to be the only lamb who could not run and jump and play in the grass. That's when Abigail would turn to him and say, Don't be sad, little Joshua. God has a special place for those who feel left out. I want to believe you, Abigail. But it's hard. Some days I just feel really alone. Come on, Harry. I need you to run for the lambs. You know we've been in this valley for a long time. The ground is nearly bare. We need you to take the lambs to the next valley where there's more grass. Oh, oh, I love going to new places. You're just going to go all the way to the next valley. Go back to the barn, Joshua. Hey, right here, Joshua. This trip is too long for me. Let's go and spend the night in the stable. Don't be sad, little Joshua. God has a special place for those who feel left out. Never before had Joshua felt so left out. So many times he watched them have fun. But when he joins, they tell him to go back. Maybe he will have one of those special dreams where he's out playing and running and jumping. That will make him feel better. But then he wakes up and it's real again. Joshua and Abigail got there. The sun was setting like a big orange ball. They were hungry and the hay tasted good. For a little while, Joshua forgot that he had been left behind. It's time to go to sleep, little friend. It's been a hard day. You are right. I am very tired. 
Joshua lay down in the corner on some straw and closed his eyes. He felt Abigail lie down beside him and soon fell asleep. He dreamed of running and jumping just like the other sheep. He dreamed of long walks with Abigail through the valley. He dreamed of being in the place where he never felt left out. something to keep the baby warm. Usually they were blankets, but not tonight. The shepherd had taken them on their trip across the valley, and Joshua remembered his own wool. Timidly, knowing his wool is warm and soft, he walked over and curled up close to the baby. Thank you, little lamb. I'm sorry, Mary, I couldn't find any cover for the baby. It's okay. This little lamb has kept the new king warm. A king? His name is Jesus, God's son. He came from heaven to teach us about God. We saw a bright light and heard the angels sing. Joshua, do you know who this baby is? He does now. God has heard your prayers, little lamb. This little baby is the answer. Joshua finally understood. He now knew why he had a crippled leg. If he was like the other sheep, he would have been in the valley. He would have missed this. But since he's different, he was in the stable and got to be one of the first to welcome Jesus into the world. Joshua even got to keep him warm. You were right, Abigail. God does have a special place for me. 